It's so tiny. I know. And delicate. I know. And needy. I know. Do you think we did the right thing? I don't know. You know what they say is true. Stealing the baby is the easy part. I trust you found this video quickly and easily. I didn't want to make it too difficult. Headquarters hires all kinds. Following my instructions is a video. You must watch this video immediately. It is imper- oh, Mom, what did I tell you about shaving your beard in the kitchen sink? Uh, you know, I'm working right now. Okay, we talked about this. I'm at work. Oh, God. You know what? Just, just hold up this curtain, okay? Just hold it up and stand over there. Stand over there on the other side. Right, just hold it up, okay? And I want grilled cheese for dinner. My apologies. Technical difficulties. Basically, continue watching after this message and watch immediately. The stories you are about to hear are entirely true. They are presented by the very people who lived them. Prepare to enter the world of the utterly mundane, to take a trip through the fully explainable, to walk through a door into a room with maybe a couch. I'm Brant's Man Sandwich, and this is Tales of the Ordinary. We take you now to the home of one Gloria Lynn Carlyle. Gloria Lynn is an attractive woman of 24. She works the night shift at a local convenience store. She lives alone. I had just gotten home from a long night of work. I remember a man had hit on me that night. He said I had pretty boobies. It happens to me a lot. He had bought two 40s and a carton of cigarettes just like he does every night. He was hanging around outside the store for about an hour, so I stayed at work late to avoid him. He finally left. I got home around 4 a.m. and instantly fell asleep. Gloria Lynn was violently awoken by a crash.
Brandishing a muffin, Gloria Lynn investigates. It was cranberry orange. I was saving it for a special occasion. Oh, uh, no, no. Uh, talk about the crash. Oh, I was like, what was that crash? Rounding the corner into the kitchen, Gloria Lynn hears a rustle. She flicks on the light, preparing herself for the worst. It was my cat. It, um, her cat knocked over a clock, so. It was a clock didn't even work. I had put it on the counter so I would remember to throw it away the next day. After the break, a death in the family leaves one woman inconsolable. And a man finds the startling truth behind his son's disappearance. He was in the bathroom. Wait, what's the show about? When Tales of the Ordinary continues. The following is a paid political endorsement. Hi, I'm Pepper Jeffries. What's your name? Now, I can't hear you because this is not a telephone, but I appreciate your candor. If you're like many Americans, you've got stresses rattling around in your crawl space that make Dick Grayson look like a longshoreman. I should know, I am one, but don't lose hope. God shines on even the unloveliest daffodil, and with your help, I can be that daffodil. I'm a simple man. I like movie popcorn. I like paperback storybooks. I painted a drawing of Napoleon Bonaparte. Maybe you can see it one time. Did you know that millions of babies are born in this country every day without the ability to walk? It's a true fact, but it doesn't have to be. Get your galoshes, get your gin gimlet, get Terry to give you a ride to the car wash. I may be confused by lighthouses, but I am not gluten intolerant. We are America. We can America. From now until tomorrow, from sea to tiny sea. I'm Pepper Jeffries, and I want to be your daffodil. This message paid for by Marshmallow Hot Pants. Because he does his laundry on laundry. Well, I'm in the dryer. Right. Oh, yeah, the, it was a Kim wash. It was definitely it was a legitimate dryer. Sure. All right, fellas. Okay. All right, the, uh, the Begabytes people have rejected each and every idea we presented to them. And, yeah, they want fun. They want family friendly. They want, they want a song. Oh, come on, a song. We're better than that. We are perhaps a song. Went to school. All right, okay, look, okay, look, settle down, settle down. I, uh, I took the liberty of writing down a few ideas, okay? So, uh, all right. Uh, <clears throat> Pete's in the morning, Pete's in the evening, Pete's at supper time. When pizza's on a bagel, you can refuse to hire Mexicans. Catchy. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. really knocked it out of the park on that one, Rory. I know I want some bagel bites. Huh? <laughs> Rory, Rory, Rory yeah. why when pizza's on a bagel can you refuse to hire Mexicans? Because there's sauce and cheese on there. Yeah. Come on, keep up, Glenn. So do you have bagel bites or do we need to go to the store? It's racist. Bites? Yeah, it, you can't refuse to hire Mexicans. It's racist, and it's illegal, and... Well, uh, you see any Mexicans around here? No, I don't. Okay, so uh, everyone's good with that one? Absolutely. Yeah. Really good Sounds work. Good. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Well, right. Can we just hear some more? Just for, um... Let's just hear some more. All right, uh, I was up all night working on them. Might as well uh, let you hear them. Huh? <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> Pete's in the morning, Pete's in the evening, Pete's at supper time. When pizza's on a bagel, you can masturbate in the library. Great! Uh, yeah. No, no. What? No, don't, don't masturbate in the library. The pizza's on a bagel. Yeah, Glenn. Why does that, why does that matter? Because we're paid to make it matter, Glenn. Glenn? Glenn. Pizza bagel. Seriously, Rory, what else do you have? Alright, uh, oh. <clears throat> when pizza's on a bagel, you can rub your butthole on Glenn's keyboard. Uh, what? You did not write that, alright? 
When pizza's on a bagel, you can rub your butthole on Glenn's keyboard? Why would you write that? <laughs> because pizza's on a fucking bagel, Glenn, for God's sakes. It doesn't give you the liberty to be horrible. Would someone get me a goddamn bagel bite? I mean, look at these. When pizza's on a bagel, you can start fires in a retirement home? Oh, yeah. When pizza's on a bagel, KKK, A-OK? -okay? When pizza's on a bagel, you can get kids addicted to meth. No, when pizza's on a bagel, you can make your wife watch you have sex with Kel Kelly? What is wrong with you, Rory? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I have passion. That's what's wrong. I did the goddamn work. I stayed up all night writing these while posting pictures of my penis on Hugger Games message boards so we wouldn't lose another client to Sterling Cooper Draper Price. That's a fake ad agency from Mad. Oh, I, I, what did you do, Glenn? Huh? What songs did you bring into the meeting this morning? All right. I, I mean, the beginning is good, off, but off the top of my head, uh, pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. When pizza's on a bagel, you can eat pizza anytime. That... <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you serious? Did you just try it with time? With time? You can eat pizza anytime as it is, Glenn. <laughs> Idiot. Determined by an unbroken chain of prior occurrences. Until now, laid some determinism on that hoe. I've got hoes, I've got hoes in different area codes, in different area codes. All right, guys, you've been great, but that's all the time I have tonight. Assuming, of course, our linear perception of time is substantiated. Thank you. Good night. Whoa! It's quieter than my girlfriend in a conversation about a Hegelian dialectic, right? <laughs> Seriously, the women be shopping. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, this is going so great! Yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited. This is so nice. So, Greg, it's a nice name. Thank you. Where's it from? It's short for Glorgan the Maleficent. Oh, what, what nationality is that? It's, um, it's evil. Is that in Iceland? Oh. No. It's more like in the pit of your festering soul. <gasps> yeah. Fascinating. I don't, I don't really like to talk about it. It's kind of embarrassing. It's not all that I am, you know. I, I, I cook, I make a mean seared ahi niswas. George is my favorite beetle. I go skiing twice a year. I'm pure evil incarnate. And I'm a little freaked out about spiders, you know? I'm just a guy, I'm just... So, so what does that mean? Oh, it just means that I don't like to kill them when I see them or no, when no, I have no, them no. on my butt. You being evil, like, <laughs> like what does it mean to be evil? Like in everyday life, I mean, I've never met an evil. Oh, I'm sorry, was that insensitive? What do you what do you like to be called? Like evil American? Yeah, that's fine. Or the Dark Lord of Naribia. That well, works too. My friends just call me Greg. Okay, yeah, Greg. Just... <laughs> Greg it is. Yeah. My day-to-day is like everyone else. 
I, you know, I wake up, uh, fresh pressed coffee, brush my teeth, and then I drink the blood of seven fawns. Standard. Uh, I take a shower. Oh, I sing in the shower. Hollow notes, mostly. Yeah. I play both parts, which is pretty cute. I don't know. Uh, so cute. And then I seek the staff of Rondon, so to hold dominion over the universe. Wow. Ah! Just blathering, you know? Like, just me, 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 me. So you work with cats, though. What's that like? It's adorable. So, you don't seem evil. Really? Yeah, not at all. Well, I am. <laughs> so is it like tabbies? Is this like a rescue shelter? What if that I you said I don't of? believe you? I get this a lot. All right. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Ta-da! <laughs> so do you like train the cats? That was, wow. <laughs> was it bad? No, bad. no, no one. No, it was, I don't think anyone here even noticed, so. Oh my God, his body's full of snakes! <sighs> I'm so embarrassed. No, I'm stop, so no, no, not at all, no. It's not even a thing, it's fine. No, you know, I, I have been on so many dates with so many assholes and it's, <laughs> it's so great to finally meet someone who's Truly evil. Really? Wow. You know, usually when girls hear that I'm evil, they just, you know, they just head for the hills. <laughs> well, not me, mister, because I am desperate. <laughs> I will take anything uh, across the board. You name it, I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> My vibrator doesn't even call me that. <laughs> like, 11 voicemails, it's like, nothing. <laughs> you're cute. It's fine. I like it. It's oh, great. I'll do it. Oh, man. You're so great. You know, yeah. I, you know, I, I really, you're great! I, you're so great! <laughs> you know, I haven't I haven't done this probably since Nerivia lost the war between good and evil, you know, plunged into eternal darkness. Like it's like being I was so nervous. Shut up. That's no, true. I don't believe it's true. it. That's true. <laughs> I mean Do you wanna come back to my place? We can uh we can have it like a digestif. We can watch uh, about a boy. Yes! Oh my god, I love that movie. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, that is happening. This is yeah, really happening. Let's go. Ooh. So where do you live? <laughs> I live on the west side. Just uh, by uh, the mm. Is that a thing? Uh, you serious? Uh, you don't go to the west side. Uh, it's a deal breaker. Uh, <laughs> you know, the blackness in my soul would crush you into a tiny speck of dust. I just, well, I don't really do the 10. Unbelievable. Are you at least gonna pay your half? No, I'm evil. Can I get two more of these, please? Just bring both to this side of the table. They're mine. The following is a paid political endorsement. Ha. I'm Pepper Jeffries. No, I am not a liar. No, I am not a calisthenics instructor. Yes, I do love tapioca bubble tea. No, I do not care who knows it. Listen, friends, there's a problem in this country when Uncle Sam thinks he can tell you what to do just because Mom left him in charge while she went to go run errands. And you and I both know she's going to forget the popsicles. Well, not on my watch. Not on any of our watches. Left, right, conservative, or literal, there's one thing that I know all Americans can agree on. If God wanted us to fly, he would have given us wings. Did you see any of our foundling fathers running around in airplanes like a bunch of Castilians? No. You know it. I know it, and the American Eagle knows it. Why do you think he looks so pissed all the time? Spoiler alert, it isn't the salmon heavy diet. Salmon is delicious. I'm Pepper Jeffries, and you're late for brunch. These gun show vendors are notorious for selling to any old crazy. If we're gonna bust these guys, we need to get some incriminating evidence on tape. Uh, I'm gonna eat your Lunchables. Well, hello there, fella. What can I do you for? Am I interested in purchasing a firearm? <laughs> I reckon you come to the right place. Why don't you try this baby on for size? Oh, oh yeah, that's, uh, 
That's nice. See, so you're a private vendor, right? That's right. No tax. No background check. No background check. Well, that's uh, that's a real load off, you know, because I I probably wouldn't pass a background check. Uh, you know, I have sort of a history. Don't we all? <laughs> that one there's five fifty. Oh, it's nice, but uh, I think maybe I need something a little easier to conceal. You know what I mean? I sure I do. You want it so well, well without the yap about this uh, this little Colt. Yeah, look at that. That's uh, that's really nice. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe I need something that's easier to fire. You know, something that'll like, let me get out a, a whole lot of bullets before I have to reload or uh, get tackled. Oh, the Colt M1911. It's got a quick reload, it's used by law enforcement. Uh huh. And what if uh, I was interested in the opposite of law enforcement? <laughs> well, ain't you the outlaw, Josie Wales? <laughs> All right, Clint Eastwood. This here is a Desert Eagle 50 caliber. It's the most powerful handgun in the world. You find yourself on the opposite end of law enforcement. Uh, that'll level the playing field, if you know what I mean. Oh, well, now you're speaking my language. <laughs> Let's see, um, I do a lot of heroin, and uh, I can't always find the hammer when I need to. The M4A1 carbine. It's got a 31-shot magazine, fully automatic. And um, I'm gonna level with you. I'm mentally retarded. Uh, I believe that children are demons and that the Earth's sun is trying to swallow me. I receive uh, instructions from my dead hamster, Admiral Squeaks, and um, I don't carry ID because I don't want the Romulan warlord that lives in my pantry to know my true identity. So I would like to purchase this gun and get home to my collection of baseball cards before Sandy Kofax starts to worry. Here's $400 cash. Got a deal? There a problem? You ever get that, uh, deja vu? Sure. You're the second guy I sold to today, Elizabeth Sandy Koufax. What are the odds? <laughs> 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 there you go, there's your receipt. Oh, yeah. uh, you have a nice day. Thank you. <laughs> Sandy Kofesh. <laughs> Please tell me you got all that. Sorry, can, can we do that again? The following is a paid political endorsement. Hi, I'm Pepper Jeffries. As Duncan Sheik said in his inimitable 1996 hit single, Barely Breathing, I can't find the air. Well, maybe he can't, but I can. It's all around us. My grandpappy taught me that, and it's still words that I live by today. Stop looking with your eyes and start looking with your heart, Duncan Sheik. Never have those words been more important than they are today, and never has sandwich time tasted so good. But there are those in this country that want to take away your sandwich time, just like they took away all the sharp things in your junk drawer. Listen, my tax code is simple. It involves the number 20. That might sound high, but it only happens once. If elected, I will fight until every victim of feline AIDS is brought to justice. Even you, Butterscotch, especially you. I'm Pepper Jeffries, and Transylvania is a real place on a map. This message paid for by the mythological Wendigo. Marcy, can you come in here for a minute? Yes, sir. Hey, Marcy, have a seat. Uh, I just read your article on what the political parties are doing about uh, job growth. Did you like it? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was well written. It was poignant. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah just, could you just read the, read the headline for me, would you? Republicans blow jobs talk. You hear anything wrong with that? Republicans blow jobs talk. No. Republicans what blow jobs talk. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Well, it's embarrassing for this publication, too. Look, we are a well tolerated East Los Angeles news aggregation blogazine. We have a responsibility to our readers. You're right, sir. I'm so sorry. It'll never happen yeah, again. Well, it has happened again. 
Presidential boner. Obama ejaculates on Republicans. <laughs> what? What? President's boner ejaculates on Republicans? Oh! Oh, I see what you're saying. Boner has a double meaning. Like a mistake or an erection. An ejaculate not only means to exclaim, but also to emit semen from one's penis. Yeah, it almost exclusively means that. I'm so sorry, sir. I'll pay closer attention. All right, how about this one? Uh, congressional leaders make Nancy Pelosi all wet. I mean, come on! What? They make her wet, like meager. Oh! Oh, like sexually excited in her vagina! Shoot! How could you not have noticed that? Sir, I swear I didn't notice. I, I clearly have some work to do on myself. Yes, you do. Oh, then there's this one. Jerry Brown gets hard on crime. He's tough on criminals. President Obama gives head to John Lebowitz. He's appointed the head of the Federal Trade Commission. Mitt Romney's dick gets super hard on the economy. Oh, that's about that private detective that Mitt Romney hired to crack down on economic corruption. Okay, I'm just going to have to hire a headline writer. I'm doing my best. I... Okay, look. How about this? The next time you write a story, before you publish it, just run it by me first. I'll help you with the headline. Okay. Well, right now I'm finishing one about a recent stern talk the First Lady had with the President about expanding her garden onto the White House lawn. Okay. Okay. How about this? Michelle Obama rides President on White House lawn. Great! That's perfect! You're the best! That's why I'm the editor. I once healed a wounded dove. Um, I possess the luminance of a thousand suns. I'm impervious to bad vibes. I, of course, control the cloak of good harvest. I like girls to pee on my butt. And uh, once I taught an entire galaxy how to love. Sandra. So, this is awkward. You're with him now. Glorgon the Maleficent. Trindle, the dickwad. It's Trindle, Prince of Light. Hey, I'm Julie. Oh, Sandra, save yourself. Uh, the, the cloak of good harvest is useless against noogies. This is a fate worse than death. Oh, oh my forehead's so sensitive. I think it's I think it's a really catchy song, all right? I think it's a really catchy song. I don't sound like that, Paul. I don't sound like that at all, Paul. You sound like a cartoon moose. I don't sound like a cartoon moose. I don't sound like that at all. What? Maybe it's your ears. You ever think that? Maybe all of you have weird fucked up whoa, ears. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just because he's from Barstow, he's got yeah, fucked up ears. Yeah, maybe you all have like weird fucking. Hey, I was born with a deformed left ear. Get out of here, Glenn. Gladly. And Bigobites fucking suck, by the way. They can suck my fucking dick. Yeah, Wait! That was real close. Real close, Paul. Yeah. <laughs>